Lagos Bible software. Arguably, this is the most valuable tool of all. Depending upon your needs, it can be free, it can be incredibly expensive. If you're a pastor, a theologian, somebody who is really, really serious about studying the Word and diving deeply into it, then the paid versions are certainly worthwhile. Now, this is available as either an application for your desktop, there is an application for your phone or tablet, and it's also a website. I highly recommend if you use this that you use it as the application for your desktop. I run mine on Windows. I have been using this software since 2011 and I have yet to pay for it. I have a tremendously huge library because one of the things that they do as well to make it incredibly generous is that once a month you get at least one maybe two free resources. So over time, you can just continue building your library over and over and over. And the tools that they have at your disposal are just world-class. It is absolutely phenomenal what you can do with this. However, because it is such a powerful tool, I will be the first to admit that there is a learning curve to it. But there are a lot of videos that will show you how to use that application and get the most out of it. If you're a lay user as opposed to a theologian, you're not going to need to go nearly as deeply into it as somebody who uh, is working at a seminary as an instructor, as a professor, let's say. But it is still an incredibly worthwhile resource. Highly, highly highly, highly recommended. So you've got commentaries, lexicons, dictionaries, a complete library at your fingertips, pretty much uh, the, the vast majority of books that are in the Christian book sphere are also available on Logos as well. So you can have everything just right there at your fingertips that you can possibly imagine that you would ever want to use in a research environment. If you do sign up for the software, the free version, don't forget to also sign up for their email list because that way you'll get a monthly reminder that says that you have a new resource and you can decide whether or not that that resource is something that would be beneficial to add to your library. As I mentioned before, over time you can build up an absolutely vast library 